Hey guys, how's it going? It's Rage, and today we're going to be doing a special new series for Conquest. It is the first of three series, and it is going to be first me and member. And so, here are the rules. You win three games to win the series, and the special twist is every time you win with a setup, you cannot use it again, and you must change a command or a unit. Who will win? Let's find out. Alright guys, so let's get this first game started here. As you can see, me and Member are both entering the game, and right off the bat, what you'll notice is Member has an obstacle advantage, and it is Regenerate versus Anti-Rush. Member has Regen, and I have Anti-Rush, and we both start with two scouts of five. This is a very common sight to see against Regen versus Anti-Rush. Sometimes they'll play champion up 4 and scout up 2, but this is also totally fine. Member goes ahead and plays another scout up 5 here, and I decide to go ahead and move my champion into the corner right away, making sure it's nice and safe, making sure to get out of any charge BC. Member decides to close his wall to prevent me from killing his halberd if he kills mine, and so now I use a little tactic which is basically a stoic trick to win an extra scout. And how you utilize it here is basically I use stoic and kill a scout, and when he captures my scout, I'll double back and capture it. Now if he used Chastis here to stop that scout, he wouldn't have enough CP to charge battle cry my halberd next turn, so he decides not to do that and to go down scout. So as you can see here, I'm up in a scout in material here, and he is about to go up in a halberd in material here. But with this, we're both going to have the exact same amount of scouts. And it's going to be dependent on whether or not I make a mistake or I can use the foot soldier well. So he goes and charges and battle cries and kills my halberd. I go ahead and recapture keeping my champion at the back rank. He goes ahead and moves his halberd up a little bit for a temple push eventually at some point in time, and I develop another scout up six. Now as you can see, he's using this obstacle very cleverly after I play scout up six by playing a scout up two and trading off the scouts. I can't reach him because of the obstacle, but he can reach me. So after I play foot soldier up four, he captures my scout and I recapture with another scout. So here, after I capture his scout, Member decides to go ahead and play a waiting move. He decides to move his champion to the side too. It doesn't really accomplish much, but he's just trying to see how I'm going to play. And he's going to base his continuation off of how I play. So I go ahead and decide to play another scout up 6, strengthening my center control, but he decides to use the barrier against me here. Now here, believe it or not, I actually played a very inaccurate move. The best move that I could have played would probably be Halberd up 4, and you'll see why shortly. So instead of Halberd up 4 in this position, I decide to play a Scout up 1 to try and force a Scout trade and develop my Foot Soldier faster into the game. And so as you can see, it forces an exchange, which is good. However, after I develop my Foot Soldier up, my pieces are actually really overextended, and Member takes advantage of this right away by playing his champion up 4, not giving me any time to move my halberd up, and also attacking all my pieces. So going back here to this position, halberd up 4 would be a better move, because it wouldn't allow me to overextend my pieces right away, and it would stop his halberd. So now I have to play my champion up 4. And now, perfect timing coming in, his halberd comes up, threatening to capture my scout out of range of everything. I can't battle cry and kill that halberd, because then he'll rush me with his champion. Also, keep in mind that if I move my scout back, he can move his halberd forward and threaten to charge battle cry me with his halberd instead. So instead, I decide to play a very technical line here with Halberd of 4, which makes this game incredibly difficult to play after he captures the scout playing his Halberd up. So I go ahead and charge my Halberd, 
and capture his. Missing a key tactic here, actually. If I moved my halberd one more space to the side, I could have avoided being killed completely, which would have been incredibly useful in this position. Unfortunately, I missed that, and I was actually trying to just get into a drawing endgame or an endgame where I have chess disadvantage, and it just wasn't panning out. And so here in this position, after Member captures the Halberd, thanks to his extended champion's range, thanks to the obstacle, I'm in a very tight position here, unfortunately, and I result in sacrificing my foot soldier here. Now, instead, Member could actually potentially just charge battle cry here his champion and then regenerate and he'll probably have a very good game however he's a little bit afraid of the chastis advantage rule where if he has an extra scout on the board i could chastis and kill him before he can sacrifice his scout so instead he goes ahead and uses charge and battle cry to weaken me to 300 hp and the reason behind this is also because I don't have a uh, charge right away either right now. Because I just used charge on my halberd. So I can't attack him right away. So I go ahead and play champion up four and chastis. And he goes ahead and plays his scout up six. Hoping to exchange scouts and trap me on the cooldown basically. So I go ahead and play my champion up three spaces. Being careful to keep it out of range of the scout. Making sure that he can't weaken me. And so, after I use Stoic, or after I Chastis, and he Chastis back, he decided to move his champion back here, actually, instead of allowing an exchange to happen. And I was pretty actually happy to see this, so I went ahead and moved forward and used Stoic. I was careful not to take a scout, because I did not want to welcome exchanges here to get a unpleasant endgame where he has Chastis advantage. And now, as you can see, this is a very critical position. So here in this position, Member really has two good moves he can play. He can play his bottom champion up two, protecting his champion, or he can move his front champion back two, forcing me to charge. And either one is really winning for him. However, in this position, in this position, Member is actually worried about Chastis advantage. So he goes ahead and suicides his scout and regenerates his champion so he won't have any units left over. Now here, I'm in a critical position. If I give you 10 seconds starting now, can you guess the correct move that would save the game for me? Feel free to pause the video for more time. Did you guess the correct move? So the best move for me to play in this position is actually champion battle cry killing this champion with the idea that members regenerate is on four cooldown and this champion is overextended in order to kill it member is going to have to play champion up four and use chastis on my champion right here and when he does that i'll have an opportunity to suicide my scout making his champion 400 hp and because his regenerates on cooldown, he won't actually be able to push forward anymore because he will be on cooldown hold. If he moves forward, I could just charge and kill him. And so, Member is actually in a very awkward position in this stage, and this would actually, believe it or not, draw the game. In the game, however, I actually blunder and miss the best move. I suicide my scout right there, unfortunately, and chastises his champion. He chastises me back and moves forward, and now this position is lost to me. I go ahead and exchange a couple words after seeing the continuation, and then go forth to resign. Now, in case you guys are wondering how this would play out, let me just show you how it would go down. So, my champion is Chastis right now, so I would have to play my champion up here. If I moved it up too far, he would charge and battle cry it, so I have to be a little bit careful of that. Now, 
here in this position, obviously, like I said, it's already lost, but um, basically, member would take this champion, I would charge and battle cry and take his champion, and then he'd move this champion up. I don't have battle cry to kill his second champion, but he has battle cry to kill mine. And so the results are in. Member won one game, and I lost. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed.